Tired of tangled power cords? Don't worry, they're going extinct. You know, there's one thing about living in this amazing future that I find really irritating, and that's all the damn wires. I have power cords and charging cables for practically everything. And while Bluetooth technology and Wi-Fi have helped clear up some of the clutter, I still have to plug my devices in once they wind down so I can recharge the batteries. Isn't there some way we could clean up all that mess? Well, maybe. You see, there was a real forward thinker way back in the early 19th century named Michael Faraday. And Faraday discovered that if he brought a coil of copper wire close to a fluctuating magnetic field, it would induce electricity to flow through the wire. We call this Faraday's Law, and our understanding and use of this law has enabled much of the technology we depend upon today. And it could lay the groundwork for an awesome future technology, wireless power. Now the quest for wireless power isn't a new thing. Maybe you heard about this guy, Nikola Tesla a brilliant engineer and mad scientist. He gave us some amazing advances in electricity and generating radio waves, but he also had some, uh, let's call them eccentric ideas, like using the entire earth as a resonator to transmit wirelessly, including wireless power. He even started to build a facility called Wardenclyffe Tower to test this out. Now, personally, I don't think Tesla's approach would have really worked, but that doesn't mean we've abandoned the idea of wireless power. In fact, there are actual implementations that you can find today, including implementations in our very cars. The 2015 Toyota Camry includes a Qi wireless charger as an option you can get. I had the chance to talk to Sharon Lota, a manager over at Toyota who talked more about how this technology works, and it's basically an implementation of Faraday's law. You see, a Qi-enabled device or case has a little coil of wire in it. When you place it on the charging pad, it induces electricity to flow even though there's no direct connection between the two. That electricity recharges your battery and no wires are needed. So, why isn't this everywhere? I mean, why doesn't my desk lamp work on this? Well, there's a downside to Faraday's law. And that is, as the distance increases between two elements, the effectiveness decreases. If that copper wire gets too far from the fluctuating magnetic field, you don't have any more electricity. Now, we have engineers looking into ways of boosting the effectiveness of inductive coupling, but they've got some tricky obstacles to get over. You can't just pour endless amounts of energy into the system because then it gets inefficient and expensive so then you start to look at something called resonance. If your inductor and your conductor both resonate at the same frequency, electricity flows much more easily. And this could mean that we arrive at a future where wireless power is the norm, and something like an outlet or a power cord is looked at as an oddity. Now, if this means I can walk across my office confidently without worrying about tripping over yet another charging cable, I'm all for it. That leads me to a question for you guys this week. What irritating problem of today do you hope the technology of tomorrow will solve? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe to our channel, and then check out these electrifying videos over here. You'll get a real charge out of them.